Hello viewers, welcome back to our friend's kitchen. Today I will be showing you how to prepare flavored cheese potato wedges. These are crusty and oven baked wedges. In this, the potato wedges are first toasted with herbs and spices with olive oil in it and then they are baked into the oven until tender. Let's see what all things you will be needing for this. First, preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for around 10 minutes. Here I have cut each potato into half lengthwise and then I have cut each half into 4 equal sized wedges. So each potato will give 8 wedges. Next step is to boil them. Heat water in a pan and add some salt and drop potato wedges. Boil this for 5 to 7 minutes. The purpose of boiling is to just ensure that the potato is slightly cooked. It should not be overcooked otherwise wedges will break. Wedges are slightly cooked and they are not completely done. And this is what we are looking for. Next in a bowl add 3 teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. 1 teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste 1 teaspoon of chilli powder half teaspoon of pepper powder 1 teaspoon of corn flour salt as per your taste half teaspoon of oregano and then you need to drop in all potato wedges and mix everything well finally add some fresh coriander leaves mix everything well Here I am going to use baking tray with butter sheet just to ensure it becomes easy to clean the tray but you can also directly place potato wedges on a tray but don't forget to grease the tray. Now place the potato wedges evenly on the baking sheet. Be sure to space them out a bit so that they are cooked uniformly. Before baking I will add little olive oil on it. Finally, add some grated cheese. Now put this into the oven and bake for around 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. It's done. Now remove them. You can see how delicious they look. I'm going to serve them hot with mayo dip and ketchup. Oven baked cheese potato wedges are ready. As you can see they have come out very good with golden brown color on the top because of different herbs and olive oil we have used over here. Do try this recipe and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below. Do give it a like and subscribe to the channel Our Friends Kitchen. I will meet you with another interesting recipe. Until then, bye-bye.